Hello, my name is Melinda Hart. You are watching Stamping with Hart. Uh, I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And today I wanted to just bring you a quick tip. Um, today I am going to show you how to turn a clear mount stamp into a cling stamp. So clear mount was um, a former way that they had sold stamps, but sometimes the clear mounts have trouble sticking to the block they have trouble staying so sometimes you can kind of get it to stay there but it's very um you know loose so you don't want to have any uh miss miss stamping when you're stamping so what you can do is you can take the leftover cling from the cling stamp sets and you can add a little piece to the clear mount stamp to turn it into a cling stamp. Now, um, I have been experimenting with this and I do just want to say that there have been a couple of times where um, the cling is, is pulling off of the clear mount stamp. So that's really just something that I want you to be aware of, just to be careful. Um, th the clings were not designed to go on top of a clear mount. So this is something that you're doing kind of as a quick fix and it will work. But if you see the cling kind of peeling off of the clear mount stamp or if it's sticking to your block, you may just need to use it a couple of times. Um, and you know, just be careful when you're pulling it off of the block so that um, the cling mount will stay on top of it. So I'm just gonna take this right here. So this is the, the clear mount. I'm putting a piece of cling little extra leftover cling from another cling stamp set and I'm adding it here okay so that it sticks okay so it's much easier now um, to stick to the block it's not coming off it's staying no matter what I do to it okay but when you peel it off you can see the cling is actually peeling away from the clear mount um, that might be hard to see. Let me see if I can pull it a little further. So can you see that? So my suggestion would just be for those first few times that you're using it, just to gently pull the cling back onto the clear mount stamp. Okay. And put it, put it back. Just kind of get it on your stamp. Put it back again. And then as you continue to work with it and peel it off, it, it's going to stay a little better. Okay. But it's going to take a few times. Like you can see, it's kind of pulling up a little bit and just remember it's because, you know, Stampin' Up! didn't design this. This was a different style of stamp set. This is just a quick fix. If you're having some troubles with your, um, with your clear mounts and you do want them to stick. So, I don't know if I would necessarily say that it's a permanent solution, uh, but it certainly will allow you to continue to have the life of your stamps if you're working with clear blocks. Um, I've heard of people actually like permanently gluing these to blocks. So it's up to you. Um, but I just wanted to bring that suggestion. I had actually learned this from a different demonstrator and I just wanted to pay it forward. I can't remember um, the name of the demonstrator who had first showed this. I, I watch a lot of different like videos and things like that. So whenever we learn tips and we share um, in the computer community, I just wanted to share it with you as well. So certainly not an original idea from me, but definitely something that I have used myself because I am in the middle of actually using the painted glass stamp set. I love this stamp set. So, if you do have any clear mounts and you need some help with them, okay, so you can see it's coming off. Just something to, just something to keep in mind. So I hope that this was helpful to you. If you haven't already liked my channel or subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Um, if you like little quick tip videos like this, go ahead and give the video a like so that I know to do more videos like this. Um, if you are open to leaving a comment or sharing, I would really appreciate it. Um, as I am still trying to grow my channel. So thank you so much and have a great day.